What's up, YouTube? This is Prince with ATP 101, and in this video, I want to go over some awesome tweaks for you guys. So, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I've been real busy, so I'm just showing you guys some cool tweaks that I found over that period of time, and I want to share with you guys. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, so the first one I want to show you guys is called Hue Phone Dialer. Hue Phone Dialer is basically uh, you could add color to your phone dialer. So, whenever you go to dial your phone, call a number you could change up the color of the whole pass so you could go to settings most of these will be in the settings area if you want to change them up so as you can see I have the call or the end call button is orange and I have the background for purple so you guys could go in there and select whatever color you want and it'll turn out just like that so that one is called hue phone dialer and the other one is called color my dock if you see the dock right now here it has like a teal color and you guys could switch that up. You could go to settings and find color my dock, and that's the color right there. You guys could switch it up to whatever you want. Let's go this way, switch it to that. Apply change, hit select, then apply changes. Unlock the phone, and now you can see the dock is set up like that. So if you had the whole setup where the dock is the perfect round for your iPhone 10, then you'll see that dock color right there. So that one is called Color My Dock. And the other one is called Better Badges. Better Badges, if you can see all my notification, all my apps with badges, you can see it's kind of missing. So it's, it's in the back. So I could swipe up a little bit and now you, you can see it's revealed. So I could swipe up like that and all the ones with the badges would just pop up. And I could hide them away just like that. So that one is called better, better, better badges. So I could go into settings, and you guys could set it up. So if I have better mode on, then then I could swipe up and swipe it away. If I don't, so now you see it's the regular way. So that one is called better badges. If you want that swipe up and swipe down feature, then just toggle better mode and you'll be fine and then the other one is called natural delete dismiss usually if you're trying to delete an app you would have to hit done up up here up top or it's kind of swipe down for the iPhone 10 but now you could just tap anywhere on the phone on the home screen and it'll go away just like that tap anywhere and it will go away and that one is called natural delete dismiss and the other one is called haptic keypad haptic keypad is whenever I go to dial a number and I hit a I get a haptic feedback on the phone you can't you can't hear it but if you have the phone in your hand you could definitely feel it so if you need some haptic keyback haptic feedback on your phone dialer then you guys could download haptic keypad and then the other one is called CC space items so this one is for your control center so if you want to switch up the space off your control center then you guys could download this one right here you go to settings scroll down to CC space items and basically you guys could switch up the space so if I want them far apart let's go all the way and then you guys could see the effect If I go down there, so now you see it's really wide apart. It's probably too wide, but then you could go all the way to the left, and you guys could get it real tight. So you guys could basically switch up the space of your control center with CC space items. And then the other one is called Adagio. Adagio is a tweet that basically lets you get to your most recent tweet, um, recent apps or favorite apps. I'd like to say recent, just by swiping over just like that. So you see, I was in settings, so I could just basically get to any one of my apps just like that and I can swipe them away just like that so let's swipe right and then you guys could go on the settings and you guys could set it up however you like so let's go to Adagio so there it is click on it I have it on dark you can put it on light so put it on light and I have it at the lower third so that's why I did it from the, the corner right there so I could put it in the middle and I could respring just like that right in the middle and now I'm at my favorite app so you can see all my apps that I've been using all my recent apps so if I want to check the Premier League scores for that Man U who lost yesterday 
to Brighton. That killed me. Man, use my team. They lost. But if I want to check the scores, I could do it just like that. Basically, it's all my my recent apps right here. So if you want to get to your recent apps real quick, then you guys could download Adagio. And then the other one is called Evan Esco. Evan Esco is basically that's why my apps have been deleting, not deleting, basically disappearing off the screen just like that. You tap it, comes back. Leave it for a couple seconds. It disappears. So that one is called Evan Esco 11. So you guys could go down here, go to the settings. Where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. So I have mine set up for 10 seconds, which it seems like it's a lot faster. And you could enable it. You could do the background fade, all that kind of stuff. And whenever you don't touch your phone for a couple seconds, it'll everything will disappear. I mean, Evanesco, the guy from Harry Potter. And the other one is called Quick Unlock. Quick Unlock is basically a tweet that lets you unlock your phone real quick if you don't have any notification. It will just skip, it will just skip the lock screen altogether. So, pull this up, let's slide up. So, so it, after every respring, it will tell you this. Quick Unlock requires your passcode each respring. So, you put in your passcode. And now it's open, but if I if I lock my phone and I go to unlock it, it will just skip right to the home screen. It won't. If you have a notification, it'll show you your notification. But if you don't, it will just skip right to the the home screen. If you're basically using it after a while, if you have it down for like a minute or longer, then it'll do the whole process. But this. It'll just skip right to the home screen, and that one is called Quick Unlock. And the other one is called Mute Flash. Mute Flash it basically replaces your mute button whenever you turn you turn off, turn it on just like that. The flashlight will come on. Now it's off. Now it's off. Now it's on. So if you guys want to do that, there you go. That one is called Mute Flash. And then the other one is called Tint My Spotlight. So if I go to my Spotlight search, as you can see right now it's orange so if you want to switch up the color all you have to do is just go to settings and find tint my spotlight and see I have it on orange you can put it on green red or just some random colors then you hit apply changes and you'll get that so yeah if you want to switch up the spotlight right here so switch up the search color and also the microphone so that one is called tint my spotlight and then the other one is called charge pulse charge pulse is basically whenever you're charging your phone you could see the battery pulsating in the right corner. So if I go right here, put it on charge. I don't know if you could see that. It's kind of hard to see when this thing is. It's kind of hard to see, but believe me, the battery is pulsing in the background. So that one is called Charge Pulse. So the next week I want to show you guys is called passcode text. Passcode text is basically whenever you lock your phone and you go to unlock it and you go to the passcode buttons you could get a little text. You could put your own text right up top. So I have mine to say Apple Tech Pro 101. So if I open it, let's yeah, go to settings go to passcode text and basically you guys could just write whatever you want right in there. So see so I have mine saying Apple Tech Pro 101 you guys could just enable it, you could hide the whole passcode text, or you guys could put a custom passcode text right there. So, yeah, the next one and the last one is called Circle Icons. Circle Icons is this tweak right here. So, let's go to go to search, let's just type in Circle Icons. And once your phone is unlocked, as you can see, all the icons are circle. So that one is called circle icons so nothing to configure you just switch all your icons to circle so there you go guys it's prince with atp 101 showing you these awesome tweaks make sure to rate comment subscribe peace thanks for watching